What's up guys, how y'all doing today? So today's another day and I'm gonna meet with my friend and we're gonna go eat at the, as, they, as the restaurant says, the best birria in all of Mexico, near Mexico City. It's called El Polar. There's a walking distance from where I'm staying, my Airbnb. But I'm not sure if my friend's gonna be shy or what, if she's gonna let me film or not. So who knows, I might get a few clips or I might get more, stay tuned, let's see. But we're walking through her house right now. And then from there, we're gonna walk to the place. I have been eating all day. It's one o'clock, I didn't eat breakfast. I went early in the morning to go running. As I've said in other videos, Mexico City is a running paradise. It's a running paradise, a runner's paradise. Because I went to that park, um, I cannot pronounce it, Chapultec, Bosque Chapultec, something like that. And I went for a run, there's a, a, a section called Gandhi Circuit. It was amazing. And then after that I came home, did some work on the computer, took a nap, and now I'm headed out to go meet my friend, eat a lot of food. Uh, they, she told me they serve a lot of food there, so I'm going hungry. I was going to eat breakfast at 10, but I held off because I want to have enjoy this meal. Now let me look at my, my GPS, make sure I know how to get to her place. Stay tuned. This area is so clean. And also I noticed there's uh, not that many dogs, not that many cats or, or anything out here. So I don't know if you guys know in my videos in Medellin, I always tend to step in, you know, when I, I always tend to step in dog poop. Here, no problems. I've been walking all over the city, I haven't stepped in dog poop one time. Good times. <laughs> I love how there's street food everywhere. Everywhere you go in Mexico, there's street food and tacos. Ah, oh, such good stuff. This is the reason why I need a fast. I need to do intermittent fasting. That way I don't gain too much weight. And then later today, I'm going to eat as much as I can, as much as I want. Of course, I can still gain weight because I can eat, I can put down a lot of food. But I gotta control myself, intermittent fast, work out, and go running and walk a lot. That's that's going to be my technique tonight. Blow up like a blimp over here in Mexico. But uh, man, oh man, it smells good. I can't wait for the food. I'm so starving. Stay tuned. I'm seeing this everywhere in Mexico City. Chiles in Nogal, Nogala. That's what it looks like. I need to try this. I need to try it. It's a sign. I have to try it before I leave Mexico City. Let me know in the comments if you guys have tried it before and what do you guys think. There it is. La Polar, a restaurant bar. Desde que? Desde 1934. It's a old. It's very old and they say that it's the world's best birria in Mexico. My friend told me there's not, that's not true. Three hours from here is even better. So I have no idea. Let me know in the comments what you guys think and have you guys tried this already. Let's go check it out. Stay tuned. There it is guys. We're in the restaurant. Lucha Libre over here. So it's noisy here. They're playing mariachi, banda, all that good stuff. And I've already seen the food. It looks amazing. Stay tuned. All right, guys, this is the, the caldo from the birria. This is for people who are hungover, who the night before got super wasted, need to get uh, fixed. So this is like a natural cure. Here's la birria with the tacos. Nice. And then, of course, lemon, peppers, aguacate, salsa, cebolla. Mm. Let me try it out. I'll, get, I'll let y'all know. Stay tuned. This salsa here, let's see. Let me smell it real quick. But my friend says, mm, it smells good. My friend says that I'm supposed to put it into the caldo. Mucho poquito. Pruebala primero. Ah, bueno. So she says, try it first. It might be spicy. ¿La como con cucharro o qué? It's good guys, <clears throat> spicy, but it's good, mm. that's delicious, alright, so let me prepare my taco, she's busy right now, doing her thing, so she doesn't mind me filming real quick, so she's gonna be doing her thing right there, I'll be filming, and preparing my taco, so the first step, Salsa. I, 
haven't had birria in many years. It's been many years. Now again, we're in Mexico. Mexico gets noisy. Hay mucho ruido acá en México, ¿sí o no? Sí. Mexico gets noisy. So, excuse the noise, guys. I apologize. Limón. We put lemon in everything. Everything. ¿Sí o no? Sí, perfecto. Limón en todo. No sé por qué, pero va ah, por el sabor, ¿sí o no? <laughs> ¿Y qué más? Eh, aguacate. Aguacate, pero cebolla también. ¿O no? Sí. Cebolla, aguacate, todo. So we got avocado. I'm telling you guys, I'm so happy to be in Mexico eating this wonderful food. I love Colombia. I love Colombian food, but I'm sorry, but Mexican food is so much better. I hate to say it. Okay. What else do I need? Cebolla. A little bit of onion. Muy bien. Muy bien. Aprobado. Ah, and let's grab it. The best tacos de birria in todo Mexico, all of Mexico. Here, let's see if it's true. the total 395 pesos mexican that's for both of us uh, two tacos each plus the sodas two sodas and an extra thing of, of uh, avocado not bad Thank you. all right guys i had to get my chocolate cake i'm gonna share with my my friend here and yeah oh another tip on the on the tacos de birria the juice they give you the juice they give you uh, use the juice to put on the taco to make it even better. If you eat it without the juice, it's very dry. It's not that good. But with the juice, 100% good. So stay tuned and I'll eat my chocolate cake. All right, guys. So this chocolate cake is an Oreo cake. It's like a tres leches. Absolutely delicious. Highly recommend it. 